This is my review and unboxing for the December 2015 Snatch Jerky subscription. And I'm here with Subscription Box Dad. Hello. And we're gonna try out this jerky. And this subscription is um, $39 for five bags of jerky, including shipping. Um, and the one thing special about this kind of jerky is it is low in sodium. So the average bag of jerky has between 400 800 milligrams of sodium per um, one ounce of serving. And their jerky is between 50 and 270 milligrams um, per serving so of sodium. So that's the one big difference um, in this jerky. So everything came in this big priority mail bag and inside. So there's a couple of little um, business cards and I think I'm guessing this is the flavors included um, in the subscription. So there's five bags here. We'll go through them and taste each one. So the first one is orange teriyaki and there's 170 milligrams of sodium in the bag. They're all resealable, which is nice. All right, so here's a look at the jerky. Feels pretty tender. Um, just from holding it in my hand, we're gonna give it a taste. All right, I really like the flavor. Um, I didn't taste quite as strong of an orange flavor. It just kind of tasted like- More teriyaki. Yeah, you know, just a general teriyaki jerky. Um, it didn't fall apart in your mouth, but it wasn't like really hard either. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just a nice tender jerky. A little um, smokiness to it. Yeah, I really liked it. And it doesn't taste like low in sodium. I mean, it's just as flavorful as any other jerky. But definitely not salty. Yeah. I mean, it's not overly salty, but it's not, Yeah. you know, without flavor. You know, it's not like you're like, oh, right, this is right. low sodium, unflavorful jerky. Right, right. So. All right, moving on. We have peppered ale, which is interesting. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. All right, here is a look. I really like the way the uh, pepper ale tastes. I can taste it. It's a little bit of a pepper, salt, slight taste to it. Um, but it's very, very, very slight. Um, kind of like a pickled taste to it. Yeah, I was gonna say vinegar. It definitely tasted like a like a sweet vinegar flavor with the pepper. Yeah, it's really good. So I liked it. Yeah, me too. I don't drink ale, so that's what I was wondering. You know, really, what it would taste like, but oh, it's good. Yeah. All right, we have a traditional western. That's well, gonna be spicy. I don't know. I thought the last one would be spicy, but it wasn't. Mm. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, this was another really good one. Uh, very different. It has a natural smoke flavor added. I looked at the ingredients and you definitely taste that. Yep. Um, also has some soy sauce, which is sheer sauce. Um, that tastes a little bit. Vinegar. So, and all those, I kind of, you know, picked up in the flavor. A little bit of a, there's a slight spice to it, but oh. compared to the others, but it was, I wouldn't really it call was, it a, I mean it's a it spice, flavorful. but it's not like right. a, it's not like a burn your mouth, tingle your no. mouth, or, I mean it's like a, a flavor, spice in terms of a flavor, not as a heat index. I mean there's a little bit, for uh, me, I would say there's a little bit, slight, okay. very, very slight, oh. for you probably don't I know. like hot, so for me it's like, this is pretty plain. I don't, I don't detect any heat at all with this. So, I guess it depends on your taste buds and how hot you like things. So, all right, move on. Next one is whiskey row. All right, that's what it looks like. It has almost a um, alcohol type smell to it. I don't know. I kind of smelled it. So whiskey smell. I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I don't know. We'll taste it and find out. I can definitely taste the whiskey that's in there. Uh, it's been cooked, I mean, it's been cooked off, obviously, but it's definitely a part of the the taste palette. Yeah, I agree. I, and being that I drink, you know, like five alcoholic drinks on the planet, um, I wasn't really a fan of it. Is it, I mean, I ha I've had whiskey. I don't drink whiskey. I've had whiskey in my life, but 
Um, like I definitely tasted, you know, like I could tell like a beer whiskey flavor. This, this one had more heat spice to me. It does have some, all them, it yeah. does have I could taste a spice to it. I mean it's not spice too spicy for me, but right, right. I could definitely I'm just not wild about like the whiskey flavor to it. I mean, you know, obviously the name suggests whiskey row, so um It was definitely another another sweet there's still some sweet taste in that. Too. Yes. Um not my favorite though. Alright. Last one is original peppered. I'm guessing this is might be more spicy given the pepper name, but we'll see. All right, that's what it looks like. Feels more tender, but I could definitely smell the pepper. So let's give it a taste. This had a nice sweet pepper flavor. Um, pepper was definitely- More present. Yeah, than the, what's this other one? Peppered, peppered ale. ale, yeah. So this one definitely was more peppery, um, but it wasn't, you know, spicy. It's, it's just more peppery. like ground, ground pepper, I guess you would say. Yes, exactly. Really good. Yeah. Um, Again, sweeter taste. Mm -hmm. Slight sweet. I mean, it's not as sweet, but it's still sweet taste. I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all of them. Um, what was your favorite description box, Dad? Hmm. It's a toss up between orange teriyaki and the peppered ale for me. I liked, yeah. I liked orange teriyaki and traditional Western. Yeah, the most. Maybe traditional Western is my favorite. Though the, though the pepper, what's it called? Pepper original? Original pepper. Original pepper. Yeah. That still is pretty good. It the was more, good. The more, I mean, the more aftertaste I taste, it's it's definitely, it's a good taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that alcohol based, you know, ones were, not, were my least favorite right. in the bunch. Um, but the only one I really didn't care for was the whiskey row. Um, I liked all of them. Whiskey Road just wasn't my favorite of them, but yeah. if I had to choose, I mean, um, that's what I would choose. And each bag has three ounces in it, so you're going to get 15 ounces of jerky for $39 a month. Gotcha. Yeah. And it sells for, like, individually on their website. They have a regular website that's, like, I think it's 7 to $8 plus shipping, so um, you save a little bit of shipping when you buy the subscription. So, I was impressed, I liked it. Um, it's always fun to review jerky subscriptions. Um, and I like that it's low in sodium, so if you're watching your salt intake, um, definitely keep that in mind when picking your subscription. So, uh, we'll have a full written review on our website. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.